Hi, I'm Andrew Le Chevalier, Housemaster of Monts and Director of Rugby at Felston School. As you can see, we're going to show you around Monts House. We're quite lucky actually, as we are the most, I say, we are the most central house at Felston. And we are one, I would say, with the best view looking out the cricket front as well as over there where the uh, rugby pitches are. So what we're going to do is take you inside to the house to show you around and how the day boys survive the day. This is our main entrance here. Like all houses, we are fob access. And as we go through here, the main, the main start of the house will be split into two. So we have a junior house up towards my office, and then we have the senior house, which is toward, uh, senior studies, which is towards Jason Gallion, director of cricket and also assistant housemaster. The bonus of having uh, both of us in here is you, you get the uh, best of both. So both being ex-professional sportsmen, we kind of approach looking after the boys in a different way. We're very much of a team, uh, team building here, rather than uh, coming from a slightly different view as other housemasters and mistresses do. This is our um, common room where this is, this is where most of the boys do socialise. Yes, it's, um, it's I, I would say, again, it's probably got the best view out of all the, all the houses for their common room because it's got natural light. And also it's quite a central hub. Being, being in the middle of the house, it allows the senior boys to come in as well as the junior boys and we socialise together, which is quite an important part of the day. And being, and being a day boy, we try and encourage the boys to come in here so they can socialise rather than missing out on the socialising what the boarders get in the evening. So we do put up the table tennis and that's quite a, heat, a good competition. That goes on in the middle of the house here. And then we have two televisions. Um, one is up for terrestrial television where the boys have the news on during lunchtime. And this is where they do their gaming. So this is quite a big thing at the moment. We're, we were the first house to host e-gaming, which went quite well. And uh, it's something I think the boys have asked if I can buy a projector, and we're gonna project over the wall there. With the gaming, this is something that we only allow the boys to do during activity time, which is their spare time during the day. And now that is normally done post activities and post curriculum lessons and also over there you'll probably see it's in a locked cabin so that I am the only one who has the key so it's open at the moment because they've just finished break and it'll be locked so they can't do it during academic lessons. Now that this is slightly different to the junior part where because the, the boys spend a lot more time in their studies due to having spare lessons being a lower sec we try and put, uh, position them in smaller studies where they're two or three men. So I'm just going to give an example of the difference between the junior studies and the senior studies. Now this study here is a good example. This is our head of house and deputy head of house, Albert Smith, head of house, Tom Gilbert, deputy head of house. Now, the difference is, what you'll find is these boys get to learn how to file properly. So the host, the boys have a lot of files here where they do their um, lessons. And they, this is what we kind of tr call a home from home. So they'll come in here, put their files up at the beginning of the day and take their files back down during the day and go to lessons. And as you can see here, this is an example of a timetable. And what we encourage the boys is these spare times here, which are not highlighted, is when they're coming in-house and study. So hence, while they're in two or three men's studies, rather than in 10 plus studies, which the junior boys are. So we'll pop up to the, junior, uh, the senior cook hole just over here. I'm not sure why it's been tradition to call them cook holes, they're kitchens basically, but each, the senior and the junior have their own cook hole. This is the senior one, and in here, this, the only difference between this is the senior boys do not have a dishwasher, so they should be at that age where they know how to wash, where the junior boys, we have a, a dishwasher because they're not that way inclined of looking after themselves as much as the senior boys. 
As you can see, the example here is very tidy for having 13, 14 boys in here during break. We're quite lucky here because what Matron does is she stocks up on fresh fruit, which is in the fridge here, and there's milk and all fruit juices, and they get the added luxury of having a, a we call it the toasty maker. So in here will be, Matron will make sure this stocked up with cheese and ham and some additional things like bacon. But what we do is we do lock this cook hole for the period of where they should be in lunch, as we do with the juniors, to make sure they all attend lunch first and then come back here, because it's an added extra. So we're quite hot on making sure their nutrition is spot on for the day. So what I'll do is I'll take you back up towards the junior house now via the common room. And when you come into the common room, you'll see we have a sign-in sheets. Now the sign-in sheets, enables us to know for when the boys come into house. Now on that, we ask that all boys are in house by 8.15, whether they come by minibus or they come by parents or even walk to school. Now the reason why they need to be 8.15 is because throughout the week, they have different activities in the morning. So Mondays would be headmasters assembly at 8.30. Tuesdays is in house, we have in house um, house assembly. Now, due to us being such a big house, we actually go over, over the road to the uh, BKA, which is in the music school, so we can host and talk to all the boys, as well as doing presentations, which each boy takes a turn. On Wednesdays, they come in and have chapel. Thursdays is in-house tutor period, and Fridays is chapel again, and Saturdays is a little bit more of a, a morning where they get a bit of relaxation. Now, what they do is, as I said, it's an 8.15, they come in, and then we have the working day, and all, I would say most day boys go home between 6 and 7.30. Just being a day doesn't mean that they can't do anything in the evening, and what we try and encourage is them to get involved in as much as possible. So last night, I had 18 boys stay here until eight o'clock, which is absolutely fine, because I'm here until then, so the boys can stay. They went to the uh, Rob Sox Society last night, and some of the boys would, would have been going to a uh, music concert as well. So our boys are quite busy throughout the day, as well as in the evening. So now we've come through to the junior part of the house. Now, as you'll see, this is totally different size to the senior one. Now the junior one, is a lot bigger and the reason why we do this is because they spend far less time in the study than the uh, lower six and, and the year 11s. Now here we have 10 boys in here and what we do is we, we try and encourage them A to have a few friends that they know from either coming from the prep school or if they're new pupils we try and match them up to if they do have friendship groups here or likes, what they kind of like. And then the rest we try and mix each other up so we, we become one family rather than keeping friends and friends because about coming to the senior school it's yes it's kind of a new start but it's also we, we try and encourage them to have their kind of friendship group as well as building friends so as you can see it's, it's a very neat study for having 10 13 14 year old boys we do try and encourage them to decorate now you might notice a slight difference when you go around the girls houses they love to decorate, where the boys <laughs> kind of see their study as a working place, which is fine. But, and also we do allow them to socialize in here, but we do have rules. So when they socialize, it's not socializing to disrupt others. It's, they can talk, they can play car games. A lot of them play ball games, but if they want to watch anything on their laptops, i.e. some will watch documentaries or some like to watch uh, sports, sports things, they have to have their earphones on so it's a kept in a quiet environment for them. As we walk along here we've got the main corridor which goes up into other studies and quite luckily in Mont um, we've had quite a few boys that have turned on, uh, A that played for England, that have turned professional rugby players as well and we've also got a GB shooter and a downhill skier as well and a professional cricket player. They haven't given their shirts yet but what I like to do is the boys that give their shirts is I like to frame them to promote the house and to obviously give them some kind of history in the house. 
So this is our this is our ties where this is the normal Mont's tie. This is our house my tie and this is our house may tie. So this is when you've done something major for the house over your years and we promote them at house assemblies or house feasts. And it's something that all boys want to work towards. And this is the traditional Mont's top. As you, this was before I took over and now we've kind of gone into more modern tight fit tops. So one of those will be coming up. Now this is one of our, um, another one of our players, Aaron Painter, who's a professional rugby player. I came to Mont's as a day, uh, day boy from an uh, external school at year nine and then has gone on to greater things. He's now a professional rugby player with Northampton, signed another four year deal. And then these are the other boys uh, that have played, represented in rugby as well. So it's becoming a very popular house for sportsmen, academics and music. So just touching on that again, it just shows you that you don't miss out on anything. You can do as much in the day as you want. I always say to the boys, it's how you want to buy into the school that matters. If, you want, if you're someone that wants to put 100% into the school, you'll never miss out. It's all back down to the individual. Because we have so much here that they don't want to miss out on. And that's why I encourage staying here long, longer in the evenings or getting involved in the afternoon activities. Now this is the junior club. Now this is where we have probably between 40 and 50 boys that will use this over a break time. Not all at once, but they do use it. We try and stagger break time. So we'll, we'll one day we'll let the year nines go first, then year tens, then year elevens, and then the other day we'll change the order around so everyone gets in. But what we do is, again, we try and encourage that this is used as a supplement to the diet, not an addition to. So the boys again will have, they have all their toast, their cereal like they do down below, fresh fruit spread, which is all managed by matron. But all this again will be locked away about 12.30 so no one again can come up and have this until lunchtime. They have, um, as I said, they have toast, they have uh, tea, coffee, sugar, fruit juice, milk, as much as they want. And we do encourage the boys to know how to use the dishwasher properly. And also part of the thing is Matron tries to show them how to use the washing machine. Not always successful because we've had seen cups in there rather than uh, uh, clothes, but that's a part of the boys growing up and that's a part of, I hope, house banter. So, and then five, I think you've seen the um, combined area we have between Mott and Manor. But that's one thing I really like about this house is that we do kind of, the boys do socialise with the girls during the day, uh, break times, etc. So that's something that's quite key. And I believe it's an added bonus of being in this house because we share the facilities to a point. And this is our, where matrons, we have a, both house, houses have their matrons here. This is Linda. <laughs> Linda's been here since she, the house was a boarding house and seen the whole change throughout. Yeah. <laughs>